building a bubble hatch uh, part two now I need to glue the uh, bottom layer to the middle layer but I need to uh, clean up a little bit um, I have some epoxy runoffs let's do that <laughs> to uh, mix some epoxy now west system 105 resin and the uh, 206 uh, slow hardener I wish I had the 207 the 207 for is the uh, clear type and I'm going to add some filler I want the mixture to be a little bit thicker so that it uh, fills any gaps between the two sheets of plywood. I don't want to make it too thick but just a little bit thicker. That's why I'm using the slow hardener. If I was using the fast one, uh, I wouldn't have time to do this. The uh, filler is uh, West System 404. And that should do it, hopefully. It's way not enough. <laughs> well, I better hurry. Oops. Ah, broken pump. Not good, not now. No, <sighs> that is not good at all. I'm going to have to eyeball it, and that's not a good way to do things. The ratio of epoxy to hardener should be 1 to 5. That's why those pumps are um, measured at automatically for you. But uh, the resin pump just broke. So eyeballing it is not, it's not good.
Now while I'm doing this, the epoxy I spread over there is starting to harden properly, probably. And I have to hurry now because uh, I don't want that to be uh, to set before I can put the middle section here on top of the bottom one. That should do it now. I want a good spread of the resin because I, I don't want any gaps. Now if I had time I would put a I would put epoxy on the other side but uh, I don't know I might do that anyway uh, just if I hurry they say 20 minutes but I doubt it. it's more like 10 in this weather anyway Well, I think they'll be. I think it'll be okay if I put enough pressure on top. <laughs> 